Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Technica Moon Boots Deluxe. Um, my main reason for doing this is because I looked everywhere and I couldn't find that many reviews on this, so. Um, I first heard about the Moon Boots through the Gothic Alice, her channel on YouTube. I'll link the video I heard it from down below if you want to watch it. It's just, um like wintry gothy outfit ideas or something like that I'll post it but anyway um and she mentioned the moon boots and she said they're the warmest boots she's ever had and um that really piqued my interest at first because I ride the bus and light rail to school so um 90% of the time when it snows my feet freeze to death like and I've gotten all different kinds of boots I've gotten like Ugg style boots and I've gotten um, like rubber boots and the my main issue with the Ugg style ones is when they get wet it's really hard to keep water out of them and then with the rubber boots they keep water out perfectly but once your feet get cold in there they don't warm up and for someone who has really terrible circulation like myself I'm never warm um, even when it's hot outside my hands will be freezing my feet will be freezing um, that's just who I am so I have a lot of issues with keeping my feet cold and or keeping my feet warm and my hands warm. Um, there have been so many times where I've been worried like about my feet. So I really wanted to get a pair of shoes that would keep my feet warm when I'm walking outside, when I'm waiting for the bus, when I'm waiting for the light rail, when it's snowy and I have to walk across campus, you know, because I, I want to take care of my feet like I already have a lot of foot issues, so... Um, when Gothic Alice mentioned moon boots, I decided, well, I thought about getting them. I thought about it for a little over a year and a half, and I tried to look for reviews of the moon boots, um, on YouTube in particular, just because this is my, like, preferred platform. Um, I couldn't find that many. In fact, all I could find were, like, uh, in, like, videos showing, like, what they were. And that's kind of not why I wanted. I wanted something to like give a little bit more in-depth description of them. So anyway, sorry for this super long introduction. I'll just get into it. So I ordered my moon boots on the 23rd of December. Um, today is the 3rd of January 2016. So um, I've had them for like three, four days. They, um, I got a confirmation, not a confirmation email, but I got an email saying they shipped out on the 29th. So I didn't actually expect to get them until, like, around January 7th, but they actually came on the 31st of December. So I was super excited. Um, they came wrapped up. I, I'm not unboxing them, obviously, because I wanted to wear them a couple times before I, like, made a decision. Um, but I ordered them off Amazon. They're the Moon Boots, um, Technica Moon Boots Deluxe Boots. So, um... I liked the way that they looked because uh, I wanted them to be all black and not have any brown or anything on them, which I'll show you in a second. And um, I paid, I think they were around 109 US dollars, and I paid like 15 to 20 dollars for shipping. It was like the only shipping option, so I figure you know, like um, the deluxe boots were like cheaper than some of the other kinds, so that was good too. But, um, in total I spent about, like, $120 on the moon boots. Um, maybe 130 But, uh, I pay for it all with my own money or anything. They're not sponsoring me, obviously. I'm like, no one watches my videos. Um, but anyway, uh, I ordered them off Amazon. They came super fast. It was super awesome. And then I'll show them to you. So they look like this. If you've never seen them before, they look pretty ridiculous. So um, these are the deluxe boots, and they're for the women. They're women's. And I don't know if you can tell. It may look grainy, but that's actually like sparkles. So the reason I ordered this specific pair was because a lot of the other moon boots, they'd be black all here, and then this bottom part would be like brown. And I really didn't want that. I just wanted them to be plain black. So um, on the stock photo, they don't look nearly as sparkly as they actually are. So I, I was interested in that. I really like sparkly things, and I think they look super cool. Like, you know, they look extra spacey, so I thought that was really cool. And then they have, um, like, black and silver laces. Oh, I think you can see the sparkles better now. 
that my camera adjusted. They say, you know, moon boots around this part. And then um, they say moon boot here, the original. And um, here's the bottom. So they have lots of traction, which never is that much of an issue for me. But I know for a lot of people, that's a huge issue. So here's the traction. They have all different kinds. And then the best part is the inside. Now, you probably can't see because it's black. So I'm going to take my phone out and flashlight in it. So as you can see, they're really thick. So it has this outer layer and then it has an inner foam layer. And I kid you not, um, my boyfriend described it best on off. He was like, oh, you know, it's like a pillow wrapped in a boot. And that's exactly what it is. And they're really huge and they're really insulated. I'll put one on so you can see. I'm gonna fall but they look like this they're really big on your feet so if you don't really want to draw attention by wearing moon boots you shouldn't get these you should get something else because they're definitely like super attracting and they're like total conversation starters but um they're super warm so it snowed a couple days ago and it's been super cold in Colorado um, I was out um, walking around outside on New Year's Day and New Year's Eve, and they were super warm. My feet didn't get cold at all, which is super weird for me. Usually my feet get freezing. Um, but I think it's because they have like an inch to two inches of just like foam surrounding the whole thing. And I think that really helps insulate it, and I think it helps keep your feet warm. Um, the one thing I will say is that if your feet are already cold and you put them in, it's kind of hard for them to warm up, but I think that goes with any shoe, you know. If your feet are already cold, they're going to be cold. Um, but I really love them. They <laughs> they make me a little bit taller, like maybe two inches taller, um, which isn't a problem for me, but maybe if you're super tall, you're a super tall girl and you don't really like being that tall, they may make you taller than your boyfriend or something. I have no idea. But I really, really, really like them so far, and I really highly suggest them as somebody whose feet get really cold. I also think they're pretty cute and stylish, but maybe that's just me. I have interesting tastes in shoes. Sorry, my cats are fighting, apparently. Um, so yeah. Oh, another interesting thing about them is that there is not, like, a right and left one. So you could wear them like this, or you could wear them like this. Doesn't really matter. Another interesting thing is they only have two size options, at least um, from the research that I did. So I got the smaller size option because my feet are rather small. So I would suggest um, to gauge whether your feet are like a, maybe like a size 7 or 8 in um, U.S. women's sizes or smaller. I should I suggest getting the smaller size. And if your si feet are bigger, then probably the bigger size. Um so that's I think all I have to say I really suggest getting them um, they're available on Amazon and then Technica also has a website where you can get them on of course they're really pricey but if having your feet warm is like really important to you I highly highly suggest them or if you live somewhere cold um so thank you for watching I hope you guys have an awesome day or night or whatever you're doing um, and I'll talk to you later bye